Film critic Kaylee Donaldson in Dundee, Scotland. Kaylee, thank you so much for joining us on the program. You know, there is no doubt of Kirk Douglas's legendary status, but give us a sense of his significance um, in Hollywood. He really is sort of the last bastion of the great golden age stars. I mean, I really think Olivia de Havilland is the only one left. He had a career that spanned close to 70 years and was also a pioneer in many ways. He decided to get out from under the thumb of the studio system and form his own studio so that he could make movies like Spartacus, which is really one of the kind of great iconic movies of the 1960s. He pioneered the way for a lot of actors in that sense by taking control of his own career. Mm -hmm. He starred in more than 90 films from the 1940s into the 2000s. Um, what were some of his major roles? Because there were so many that you can think of, but what is he perhaps best known for? Well, as evidenced by the one behind you, I think Spartacus is going to be the one that's mentioned in the first line of every article. It's written about him right now. Uh, he also played Vincent van Gogh in Lost for Life. My personal favourite film he was in is Billy Wilder's Ace in the Hole, which was a huge flop at the time and has now come to be known as one of the great prescient films about the destruction of celebrity and the uh, degradation of the American dream. And I think it's his finest performance. He plays this amoral newspaper man who decides to spin an entire fake story just to get famous. And it is really indicative of what he could do. For someone who managed to show a pretty solid amount of range over his career, he was especially good at playing amoral sleazebags. <laughs> yeah, um, he has been called one of the last Hollywood legends of the, the golden era, and, and you mentioned that um, Olivia de Havilland's perhaps the only one left. Um, we really don't see movie stars of this caliber anymore. I, I mean, is this really the end of an era? I think it is. I mean, the mode of stardom over the past decade alone has changed dramatically from what it was even in the 90s. We really don't make A-list movie stars anymore. We are more focused on uh, the properties and the franchises, whether it's something like Marvel or DC or whatever. Uh, Kirk Douglas came from an era where the studio would pluck you out and carve an entire persona around you and make sure that everyone knew who you were. Uh, he managed to break free from that somewhat, but he still cut from that cloth and he carried that over essentially through his entire life and also through his family. Um, he had a very dramatic personal life and his son, Michael Douglas, carried that on and carried on the work. Uh, we really don't have those sort of dynasties anymore, for better or worse. So it is certainly the end of something that I don't think Hollywood will ever replicate again. Yeah, beyond his acting, he and his wife were known for being philanthropists. Uh, what other contributions might he be, he be he known for? Uh, one of the big ones that's being remembered a lot is that he, he certainly himself liked to credit himself as one of the uh, people that kicked down the Hollywood blacklist. He insisted that Dalton Trumbo, the screenwriter who had been completely pushed aside from Hollywood because of the McCarthy witch hunts, uh, be credited as the screenwriter of Spartacus. And that basically made sure that everyone else who'd been kicked out of the industry got their time. It was actually John F. Kennedy crossed a picket line to go and see that movie. Uh, which was a huge deal at the time and still is when you consider the political ramifications of it. He's someone who's influenced stretched far and wide and was knee deep in scandals and shock and stories that's honestly deserving of its own movie, which will probably happen someday. Yeah, um, he certainly was very influential. influential. Um, what are some lessons that perhaps younger actors might be able to take away and learn from him? Oh, that's an interesting question. I, I think there's just a particular kind of stardom that, like I said, we don't really have anymore. And I'd be curious to see if any actors would be able to replicate that or if the system even exists to replicate that. Like I said, we just don't really have a place for those kind of stars anymore, at least not in the Hollywood system. Uh, if we ever return to those days, then he's probably one of the models that people will want to borrow from, especially in the fact that he carved his own way and produced his own films and got his name out there in a way that the studio didn't really know what to do with him. Uh, so he was someone who sort of carved a path that uh, basically everyone has kind of followed in since then, whether they're aware of it or not. Yeah, he was um, definitely a legend who lived a very long and rich life, 103 years old. Kaylee Donaldson, thank you so much.